Now let's look at a multiplication problem in a different base. Multiply 5, 4, base 6 times 3, base 6. We're going to begin as we would in base 10, in that we'll multiply 3 times 4. Now, if we're working in base 10, we know that 3 times 4 would be 12, but we're going to translate that into a base 6 number by recognizing that 12 is equal to 2 times 6. That would be 2 times 6 plus 0 times 1, which would be 2, 0 in base 6. We'll place our 0 in our 1's place, and we'll take our 2 and write it in the next column. We're going to use that in the addition in a few moments. We now proceed 3 times 5. In base 10, 3 times 5 would be 15. In base 6, we notice that 3 times 5 is going to be 2 times 6, which would be 12, plus 3. So that would be 3 times 1. That gives us 2, 3 in base 6. But remember, we also have to add this 2 that we carried over in base 6 onto the 2, 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, and we bring down our 2, and we end up with 2, 5 in base 6, which carries over to our product, and our answer is 250 base 6.